Hello, it's Jeff, and I'm working on the pitch gimbal of a Phantom 2 Vision. And this is basically the camera and the gimbal here. And I had purchased this Phantom used from a chump who allegedly wrecked it in some water, and I got the Phantom fixed. And uh, really, there was nothing any, anything wrong with it. It was just put back together and plugged in wrong. And uh, one thing that it didn't come with was the the uh, pitch gimbal so I had purchased this part right here it's about six dollars from a company in California and uh, I was unaware it didn't come with the servo that controls the pitch of the camera so I contacted them back and I said hey I need I need I need the uh, servo that makes the camera go up and down and they didn't have it contacted somebody else they didn't have it Contacted somebody else. Contacted a bunch of people. And they said, "Well, we can't get it. You got to get it directly from DJI." They contacted DJI, and they said, "We sell it, but it comes with this entire camera unit." And it was like five hundred dollars. So no way am I gonna spend five hundred dollars just to get a get a servo that goes in there and makes the camera go up and down. Did a bunch of research on the internet, comparing uh, uh, servos to the OEM servo that the Phantom comes with. And this is uh, what I came up with. Uh, it's a high tech HS5055MG. It's a micro servo. Uh, it's a metal gear. It's also digital. And this is, this is basically it. Uh, real small. It's about 22.8 millimeters across here, or something like that. And uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. It seems pretty quick it's it's real torquey it's got a lot of a lot of torque in there and uh, put on my servo tester here I almost think it might be, might be kind of faster than the, than the original OEM servo I've gone as far as uh, test fitting it test fitting the uh, the end gear of the servo into the socket of the camera and it fits nice and snug and tightly. So all I gotta do is this servo fits down into uh, this bracket down into here. You know, it sticks out right over there. And I'll fit it down in there. I might need to use some servo tape and hold it down in there. Um, these little ears, I gotta clip those off. And once I get it down in there, uh, this guy goes on top, and it should fit nice and snug. I gotta do something different with the uh, connector here, because um, the connector on the DJI is vastly different than uh, what the what the servo is. I gotta make this plug into there. So let's see what I come up with here, and we'll check back in a little bit. Thanks for watching. Well, I got the servo in there. It actually, it took me quite a while. I had to uh, carve out a lot of this uh, material around here, this plastic. It's cheap, easy plastic to carve out. I got the rough shape in there, then I filed it out with a 3 16 file. Got it fit and perfect. And you gotta be real careful uh, to make sure you get your geometry right on this rotational axis here, otherwise your camera will bind up as it pitches up and down. And as I'm doing this here, uh, I got to thinking about it, and I'm hoping this servo uh, goes the correct direction, because there's really no way to reverse it that I'm aware of in the uh, setup in the NASA. So. Let's hope it goes the correct direction. And I also had to remove, I don't know if you can see it, one of these plastic tabs, or those right down here, because you know this servo fits a little bit different than the OEM. And I got some foam rubber in here. Also underneath it, uh, that holds it in there really good. I got this crammed in there. I got the servo in there and I got it temporarily wired up here and 
what I thought was going to happen did happen. It's actually pitching the wrong direction. So until I can figure out a way to reverse that high-tech servo or just go ahead and, and uh, get a high-tech servo programmer where I can just reverse it, um, this project is set aside. Thanks for watching.